Hey guys, and welcome to a new Besiege video. We have some new updates to the game. Oh my god. And they're pretty simple. We have sliders. Right? No idea what they're used for. Okay, so we have sliders. Firstly, we have wooden poles. That's a big deal. Very thin, very like light. Um, plus I can make like stick men out of them. Here, let's make one now. Uh, so that'll be the pelvis. Okay, then we'll make the legs. Make the legs quite long. Then we'll have the center. Oh, too high. Go down to the ground, mate. Then we got the arms. There we go. And then we have the head, which will be one block. And he will have one single eye. Oh, no. Apparently not. Not allowed the eye. The eye is not allowed. And there he is. My glorious contraption. <laughs> Stick man. But yeah, it just it, it gives us more like potential in general for building those simple two things. Although I don't know what the other one's used for yet. We also have some new stuff for flight. So, the balloon. The balloon. How does it work? So it just goes up, right? Oh! Oh! Whoa! That's some serious power! Oh my god! That's fucking amazing! Oh, that's so cool! Alright, so, we need to make ourselves a hot air balloon. That's what we've, we're planning on doing. Oh, also the propellers look different now. They're like a... They're not quite as heavy and made of metal. They're made of, like, wood or something now. That's pretty interesting. Either way, alright. So how are we going to do this? I say we use some sticks. We just make a small contraption up top that's lifted by a balloon or two, however many it takes, okay? So we just have a, like a square in the center, yeah? Um, and this will be where the balloons are. So right, I guess we'll just put one on at each point. This is probably going to be way overkill at first. So yeah, just so you know, warning you now. Um, okay, and so... Now what I need to do is have like a a place where someone would sit, right? You know, where where they would be in the, the actual balloon itself. Okay, so how are we going to do that? Well, we'll craft like a little basket, I guess. Like this. Whatever. And we'll go ahead and delete these. Uh, there. And then I guess we'll just have this in the middle. And then we need to co connect it. So we put the wall up around the... Ba Whoops, that's not in the right place. We need to have like a wall for the basket. So like you'd be stood in this. Although I know it's like quite tight right now. Okay. And then we use braces to hold it together. Okay, I think we're a bit too high up though. So let me just fix that. Alright, so we just delete all these. Apart from one, so I have something to go with, right? And then we go down a level. Uh, so, there. That's the center point. There. Okay, that's much better. There we go. So, that just gives us a bit more space to work with in general. And then that comes up all the way around like that. We'll delete the original block. Just delete that. Whoops, clicked on the wrong thing there. And there we go. Now we got a bit of a basket going on. Oh, there's a fucking weighty one. All right. I know that's bad. So now we just need something in the, the top here like that to connect us. So what we'll do is we'll just erase these. We we'll use braces. So braces, braces, whoops. Braces. So everywhere braces. Then we connect that. Does, that. does that not connect like that anymore? Because it's been taken up. No, it still can. Alright, I just did it wrong. Okay, so... There. There. This doesn't feel very good, the braces that I'm doing there. Uh, what I what I meant to do was... Oh, I know why, I, why this feels a bit wrong. It's still quite squished. Okay, let me try and fix that. That's where I went wrong. See this. Look at this. So now I have way more space. Okay, so I just put these on top again. Oh. Hang on, I swear this worked before. Oh, is it the weight? Is the height of the actual thing? Fuck. Oh, no, it's too high up. Stupid box is so small, man. So annoying. Okay, uh, can we fix that? 
Okay, maybe that's given us enough space. It did. Thank God for that. All right, so we can work with this. Good. So there's an intersection. Just a bit hard to play. A bit hard to place them on these new wooden sticks, admittedly. But at least there's more variety there. So now we have this sort of thing in the middle. We can brace to that, and we won't do too much bracing, I don't think. Not as much as I originally was. There we go. That looks better. And then we should probably brace this up as well. So to like these four points. Like that. Yeah, that looks right. Yeah. Okay. So the basket's there. The balloons are there. Will that, will that lift? Too heavy. Right. Okay. Alright, so we need to make the basket lighter. Um... Is there a better material to build a basket out of than the wooden panels? Or does that only actually go on to blocks already? Like, if there was nothing there, it wouldn't work, maybe? Let's find out. Let me just uh, delete the base section here. Like that. And then, using wooden panels, maybe we connect them? Shame the wooden panel panel's a bit too big there, but whatever. Maybe that'll hold? No, that doesn't stick together anything. And it looks like it's still not lifting up. Okay, let's just test the weight. Let's just test the weight. We'll get rid of all this crap down here. But we'll keep the, the braces. The braces are actually very heavy, it looks like. It would seem that these braces are preventing it from going up entirely even just that is too heavy like how is it that not even lifting up is it the wood itself that's preventing it i don't know so what else do we have in flight adjustable weight something i can make heavier or lighter that would be the sandbags on the side of the basket wouldn't it so I guess we've got no choice but to make the thing on the top much bigger if we're going to make it stay in the air. Right? So this way, though it has more weight behind it, I suppose, it's going to have way more actual balloons on it to pick it up. So hopefully that'll be enough to do the job. I guess we're about to find out, because I am attaching a lot of balloons right now. Fucking hell, it's going to be a, a bunch of balloons. Oh, you know what I've not even thought about doing as well? Is increasing or decreasing the strength of the, the pull up. I assume I can do that, because you can do it with, like everything else. So, let's just have a look. Yeah, look at that, I can make it like pull up more. That's where I was going wrong. Uh, it does have a bit of a pull there. All right. Well, I mean, well, still fine, still good. But uh, let's just upgrade this to maximum bu buoyancy on every single one. Okay, they're they're all on maximum now. It took ages. Congrats on me editing that out for you. And it goes up again. All right, good. And it's leveling off a little bit. Not not perfect. Not perfect. Okay, so. Now we just need to add the basket. Now, this is where it gets hard. What should I use for a basket? Because I need something that's very light, apparently. More than I, I realized. I wonder if I can use these new materials or anything like that that would work better. And obviously, I want you guys to tweet your, your own air balloons that you've made at me. I'd love to see that. And see what you used to make your air balloon. What maybe you've got a design that, that worked better than mine. And I could take some inspiration from it or something like that. So I'll just go with that for now. Still lifts up. Good. Good. And then we add the walls of the basket. Just like this. It just doesn't look very much like a basket. But it is going up. Ever so slightly, it's going up. Right. Oh, it's completely still. 
It's actually going down. Oh, dear. All right, that's not perfect. That's not perfect. But it occurred to me just now, if I was to put that there, that there, that there, and that there, right? Oh, I was thinking that I could change the mass of these while it's in flight. That way I would be able to tilt it forward or tilt it backwards, similar to the, my um, drone thing that I had. So let's put them on, like, I don't know, minimum mass. I don't really know why I'm doing this, but I just want to test a little bit, you know. It's probably still too heavy. I mean, it's going up, but it's going to come back down. Yeah, yeah. Okay, so the basket's probably too big. Let's see if we can fix this a little bit. So, are braces heavier than the sticks? I suppose they probably are. Let's just find out. With just this as braces. See if it goes up. Whoops. Missed that last one there. Okay. Braces are heavy. Yeah, they're heavy. There's no denying that. Just doesn't seem to, to work too well. But maybe I'm doing it wrong. What about like... Whoops. No, thank you guys. What about like... Not the wood, right? Now, stick with me on this one. It's going to sound crazy. Not really, though. But what if instead of the, the wood, we go with something like a holder? How are we going to do this? Well, I need I need actually wood in general to, to place the holder. Silly me. So we'll get rid of that. And then place the holder like this on top. A little bit too close. I think I used uh, the wrong wood there. Um, I actually was given the wrong type of wood for the job. All right, um, so erase the blocks. Whoops, erased too many there. We're good, we're good. Okay, then add the holder for like a basket. Okay, we can destroy that. Now, can we brace that or anything of that nature? We actually can. Holy shit, we can. It's not the most elegant design, I must admit. But if it, but if it does the job... Yeah! Yeah, it does do the job, so that's where we would be. Oh, that's well cool. Oh, wow, it's really going up. Alright, so how about... How about this is too far down? Yeah, yeah, that's probably the case, so... Let's move it a little bit further up. So, three should do the trick. And we do that. Then we add the holder again. Is that too close? Feels too close. Alright, we'll try four instead. Okay, erase that. Then go with the basket. The holder. And there we go. Then we just destroy this. And we use braces again. And brace them to the center. That's it. Yeah, that's not as like, not as ugly and it looks fine. And this will probably go up, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Awesome! It's actually working. Now, we, we don't actually have any way, the moment, to decide which way it's going to go. So what I would assume would be, like, key mapping one of these and these uh, to, like, each corner. So... If I was going to key map these, how would I do it? Well, basically, I would uh, click key map. And uh, I'll, just, I'll use WASD except in a different place. So um, forward would be that, T. Right would be H. Left would be F. And backwards would be G. Okay. Oh, no. I did it the wrong way around. But totally, totally works. Although it's still going, it's going too high. Like, the, the issue, I think, would be it's, we have no way to increase or decrease weight while we're, like, actually in the air, you know? So this is working, technically. Like, I can, like, push us forward or whatever. Maybe I need to add more power to it. Yeah, we'll just quickly add more power to each and every one. Just so it pushes it in the direction a bit further, faster. Hopefully that'll work. Like this. Yeah, look at that. But the issue is, of course, we don't have a way to add weight. And that will make us go up faster 
or slower, um, which would allow us to control how fast we are up and how fast we go down, you know? That's how you, hot air balloons work, you know, with the sandbags and whatnot. And the issue is, the closest thing we have to sandbags, as far as I'm aware right now, are these adjustable weights. And as I said, you know, it's not, it's not going to do the job. Oh, it, didn't, it doesn't, it's not even attached. Didn't know that's the case. But yeah, um, if I could adjust the weight while in gameplay with these, then maybe. But it seems like I can only adjust the weight out of gameplay in creation mode. Which is kind of a problem. So, here's my question to you guys. How do you fix this? This is my current hot air balloon design. What would you do? Uh, I'd love it if you tweeted your, your answers, your designs, at me via pictures or messages, whatever, on Twitter. And the, my Twitter will be linked in the description, as always. And tell me, how would you make a hot air balloon? What is your design? What is your way of doing it? And maybe I'll be able to show it off and, and give you a shout-out or something. Either way, that is my current and first hot air balloon design. And it was kind of a success because it does actually go up. And I kind of can slightly control which way it'll go. It's just obviously that's not that's not got enough power behind it. And I, I could probably add like more spacing and give more turbines and more power and then sort of decide which way it's going. But for now, uh yeah, it's not really working. It's just going where it wants. But it's working. It's cool. <laughs> Look at me spinning it. <laughs> oh god. And uh, that is my hot air balloon design in this wonderful game of Besiege. So let me know, guys. What do you think? Cool? Working? Got any ideas? Make a suggestion. Leave it in the comments. I've been Hall, you've been you, and I will see you next time for some more Besiege.